Hey guys, welcome on back. This is Let's Play 1985 Super Metroid Part 10. If you've missed Part 1 through 9, then you have not missed much. No, I'm just kidding. You should actually go back because it's pretty cool. But anyways, our adventures have taken us to this room where we can use a super bomb or power bomb, or I don't know, whatever they call it. Um, we can go up and we can start exploring a new area. So we've got these guys. They take... I have the ice shooter and they take like a few shots each, which is crazy. It looks like four, maybe five shots, but they do drop super bombs, so that's kind of nice. So anyways, we're going to be wandering. So I've been hooked on, as you all know, this, what is this called? Hanging with friends on the iPhone. I play it all the freaking time. And if you guys want to add me, I'm not going to spell it out for you, but my name is Jordan. And there's a lot of O's and R's in these. And yeah. So, anyways, it's uh, it's a long time. It's a. Uh, I I'm not gonna spell it. Anyways, if you add me and you get lucky, then we'll play. If not, eh, we won't play. We'll do something else. Anyways, come on, let me up there. You know, I'm pretty sure you get a suit later in the game that lets you move around in water, uh, just like you do normally. So I'm pretty sure I'd be able to make that jump. Not today, that is for sure. Someday. Someday we'll get up there. Oh, man, there's so many places in this game that you can go back to, like, after you're done. That's the thing. It's like, you, how do you remember all this stuff? I'm pretty sure most of the people who play this game use, like, these giant maps and stuff. And so, ooh, wait a minute, this looks like the, oh, come on. This looks like the place where our ship is, if I'm not mistaken. And that means we can go back through, I am the worst jumper, um, we can go back through the whole thing and go back through the whole game basically and pick up everything that we couldn't get without the high jump and the boots and what else did we get? We got the high jump, we got the boots, we got, we got the ice beam, I don't know if that's going to let us get anywhere, but you know, maybe it will, I don't know. As you can see, I'm the worst freaking jumper ever. So, don't copy me on jumping. I'm thinking about playing Hanging with Friends right now, but the problem is, if I ask everyone on this video what the word is, like what letters I have and everything, by the time you get back to me, we'll already, already be on the game. So, anyways, oh, there's our ship. Aha, we can go in and we can fill up. So, when you go in, it's freaking awesome. You get full energy and you get full weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, how, and you can save, so. Your ship is awesome. It's really cool. And it looks kind of like it. It looks like your visor a little bit. So that is cool. Metroid is cool. You know what I was thinking? Um, I was thinking, I think it was today, maybe yesterday, but how similar are Metroid and Mega Man, right? So Mega Man's got one arm that's a gun, and Metroid's got one arm that's a gun. Okay. They both get upgrades. That's one. Um, but the thing is, Metroid gets upgrades that are kind of permanent, you know, like you don't have to select them, whereas Mega Man gets to choose what he wants to shoot. Um, but they both get guns, they both get upgrades. What else is similar? They both kind of look the same, like they're robots. There's a lot of sim I, I think that uh, they may have copied each other. I don't remember who was first, Metroid or Mega Man. Maybe I'll look that up. Should I look that up real quick? Let's see. Well, yeah. You tell me, why don't you guys look it up and say, who was first, Metroid or Mega Man? Now remember, Rockman may be considered different, so let's see when Rockman came out, let's see when Mega Man 2 came out, and let's see when Metroid came out, because they're all, eh, they're all a little different, so, anyway, I don't know why I don't kill those red things, you can kill them, um, but I heard somewhere that it's better not to. So I'm going to take other people's advice instead of mine because I really don't know. I never played this game. So I wonder, oh, let me show you something. So if you go in here, this of course is where the final boss is. Um, after you beat a boss, you see that little green thing disappears, breaks open. And uh, so, and then he becomes gray. And so when we beat the other two, it looks like there's two more behind. I oh, know there's three, I think it's I counts as one. Um, so when we beat the other bosses, we can come in there, and then the whole guy will break apart, and that's how we get to the end. So, very cool. Very interesting. 
testing. So I saw my friend Bree Escher put out a video. I think it was yesterday. What was it about? It was. Let me think. Oh, I cannot remember. I, I just watched it like half an hour ago. I can't freaking remember. Anyway, she puts out these motivational uh, videos, which are pretty good. I mean, it's nice that she's doing that, but I think people want to see the comedy. So, Bree, if you're watching this, which you're not. Stick to some, do some comedy with Mr. Steve Green there, because that's the stuff that we want to see. Like the whole, uh, not the holy shit, the um, I'm better than you. Those are great. Those are freaking fantastic. My, uh, I know everyone likes the art ones. He goes to this, this, he goes to Venice Beach and he draws pictures of people, but he draws like penises all over them and and has them doing nasty stuff, and uh, they get all pissed off. Um, everyone seems to like that one. I personally like the ones where he sucks really bad at whatever he's doing, like basketball or skateboarding, and he goes around and telling people that he's good. Like, the best was he went to uh, Venice Beach, which is pretty notorious for basketball, I guess you could say, and uh, he tells everyone how good he is, and there's all these, like, gangster guys there and stuff. Oh, my God, it was great. So, we already got this map. I have no clue with this game, but I'll, I do know that it's fun. Speaking of which, you know what was on TV the other day was, um, not Meet the Pumpkers, it was Wedding Crashers. Oh my god, that's a great movie. That is such a good movie uh, with Vince Vaughn, who I really like. He's kind of like a love-hate guy. I know people either love him or hate him, and I hate to say that because that's how it is with most people, but it really is. I mean, people just either can't stand him or think he's so funny and the same is true with Eddie Murphy as you guys can all see I'm getting better with uh, movies uh, Eddie Murphy is great uh, I think he's so funny but there's so many people out there who completely disagree and think he's terrible so I don't know to each their own I guess anyways we found more missiles uh, you can really kind of maneuver your way around once you get the speed boost and and the uh, bombs and everything. Now you can really get ev almost everywhere. Um, then once you learn the wall jump, that's when you can really get everywhere, but we won't get there for a while. Let's see. Hold on. But eh, not too into it. I mean, secrets are fun. D don't get me wrong, secrets are totally fun. But uh, I, I'm more into it. Because this is my first time playing, so it's like I want to just get through the game and beat it. Whereas most people have already beaten it and they're just like, you know, playing to show you all the secrets 100%. That's not me. Maybe when I do Zelda, Zeldas have a lot of secrets. I really want to do Wind Waker. I only played that game once, and it was so good. I mean, it was a great. It was so there's so much to do, and oh my god, for the time that it came out, it was great. So I'm definitely gonna redo that one. The problem is I don't have a GameCube. Yeah, actually, I do have. Maybe I should go grab my GameCube. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go get a GameCube. I think it's at my dad's house. Uh, but I definitely have one somewhere. Let me find it. I wonder if it still works. I know Nintendo products tend to work forever. Like, people still have original Nintendo systems, and they still work. Speaking of uh, original Nintendo systems, I saw a story. Uh, that this one guy had... Oh, no, sorry, it wasn't this one guy. It was on uh, Storage Wars, if anyone watches that. This guy found oh, an original Nintendo system and thought it was worth like $17,000 because that's what he saw one sell for. Uh, but the problem was the one that sold for $17,000 was brand new in the wrapping. And so his was only worth like 10 bucks. <laughs> Pretty funny. But yes, yeah, anyways, those things last a long time. They really do. Alright, so I'm just trying to figure out everywhere I can go. With all the new equipment that I have, and so we're gonna spend some time exploring and discovering and finding out what we.
we can do. So, anyways, about out of time for this video. So, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. And I'll see you guys next time for part 11. I can't believe we're already there. Part 11 of Let's Play Super Metroid. So, I will see you guys.